Welcome back to the PoolCenter.com video series. Today we're going to replace a broken light bulb in a Amer Pentair American Products Amerilite. You can see this light has a broken bulb. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure all electricity has been disconnected from the light. Go to the breaker box and shut off all power. Now we've taken the light out of the pool wall and we're going to sit it on the desk. I'm going to use something soft to sit it on so it doesn't damage the lens. My gloves work fine. Now, this particular light has a spring clamp. We're going to loosen the spring clamp. We have a 3 8 nut here and a Phillips screwdriver. Should be hand tight now. We're going to remove the clamp and that's going to expose the light and the lens. The gasket, as you'll see, goes right around the lens itself. Sometimes you need to gently take a screwdriver and loosen and break that seal. Once you do, the lens is going to come right off fairly easily. That's basically the same with all pool lights. You'll find the gasket attached to the lens, like so. Each time you service a pool light or replace the bulb, it's a really good idea to replace the gasket. Now, let's move on. As you can see, this light has broken glass in it, so we want to be careful. I've got my gloves. And we're just going to dispose of the glass for now. We'll clean that up later. And gently remove the remaining part of the bowl. As you can see, it just unscrews. It's a regular base pool light bulb which will screw right into the socket. So once we remove the bulb, and we know we don't have any glass in there, it's time to get our new pool light and, and install the new bulb in the pool light. Very carefully take it out. We're going to gently screw the light in. Now, in some instances, when you replace a pool light bulb, you're going to find moisture, water. Be sure to wipe it all out, and it's also a good idea to let the light fixture sit in the sun for an hour or so to make sure all of the moisture is out of the light. Now, we've secured our bulb, nice and tight. We're going to reassemble it. I'm going to inspect the gasket, the American Products gasket, We'll go right around the lens like so. When the gasket's secure, we're going to place the light pool light lens back on the light fixture. Now comes the tricky part. Replacing the face ring. We're going to put the face ring back on the light. Now, this is the top of the light and here's the screw. And this is the lens. Most times, the lens will have top written on it. What we're going to do is every pool light has these half circles on the lens. We want these half circles to be pointing down to the floor of the pool. It helps a great deal in dispersing and reflecting light across the pool. So, again, our screw is here, lines up even with our half circles. Our half circles are pointing down to the floor of the pool. Now, we're going to take our clamp and reinstall it around the light face ring.
Make sure that it's caught onto all of the little hooks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace our washer and our nut. And this is where we want to make sure that we've got it as tight as possible. So I have my adjustable wrench. We're going to put it on the brass nut. Now please, when you're repairing a pool light, or any other piece of equipment for that matter, it's important not to use pliers on the nuts because these items will need to be serviced again. And if you use a pair of pliers or channel locks, it's going to damage the nut. Now, in my opinion, this step, it is impossible to get this light too tight. We're going to try to bring this clamp together as close as possible to make sure that no water can get in the light. And that's it. That's how we replace the light bulb in a Pentair American Products Amerilite.